go. Welcome back to the rigging bench. Uh, we're here again. In Episode 50. 51? 51. I yeah. think. Yeah. It's crazy. We're, we're coming at you live and in monochrome from the knife wall. Yep. Great boys. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, this week we did something a little bit different. Yeah. We had our buddy Marshall in for a shopping spree. Yeah. Yeah. So we gave him uh, two minutes to go around and pick up uh, all of his, or load his spring striper box. And we tried to keep him under $100. Spoiler alert. He did not. He was just grabbing it. like handfuls of stuff. I'm like, this, this is a bad strategy, but <laughs> it was tough. But it, it was good. It was good. You know, he, uh, he kind of went through all the different um, all the different types of lures he likes to use in the spring, and then that lure box really carries him through the entire year. He said he doesn't really change anything at all, and he's fishing all from surf. He's like straight up Boulder Field guy. So cool, it's pretty cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's see it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. So Jesse gave me two minutes and a hundred bucks to pick out some striper plugs. Um, let's try to make this work. So. Immediately thought, darters. I'll pick two of them. You gotta get a couple colors in there. Maybe I'll do some spray painting. Um, definitely some Midnight Massacre needles and blurple as well. I like to keep it simple. Not a lot of plugs in my bag. I don't typically switch. I'm pretty religious to some, uh, some styles. So. Over here, you can't go wrong with some $10 red fins. Once again, I can you know, paint them as I like. It's pretty easily some custom job. Um, can't miss these. Some, I typically like to fish the nine inch logos. So these are 16 a pop. I'll do black and I'll do some seven and a half inch wipes. So with those logos, I'm definitely gonna need some rigging. So. I'll pick some live bait hooks for the McKenna, McKenna rig. Um, get two packs of those. And um, some Psywash hooks if there's in stock. All right, Audible. You're gonna get more live bait hooks. <laughs> All right, All right. where am I at? Plenty of money left. I don't know, I might just grab some. These are so strong. All right, these are tasty. And I'm pumped about these extra large fish snacks. Hi. All right. How you feel? Over $100, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I got the super strikes. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, Knocked no. it out of the park. Way oh, man. Uh, oh, Fishing is expensive. <laughs> lose half of them in the rocks. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's my selection. Uh, you'll find me fishing these plugs um, throughout the whole entire season. Um, I keep a smaller bag, so. You always find me with needlefish. Um, can't go wrong. So much you can do with them. They represent, you know, spearing all the way up to, you know, sand eels, and it's pretty much a stick in the water, but it has enough action to fool some fish. Uh, my favorite plug is the darter, especially super strikes. So here's the pear color. Um, I got two of them because typically I'll spray paint whatever I need, you know, in the night. If it's a darker night, I could turn this into like a blurple, no problem. Um, so having options is great with those. Sluggos, also another staple in my bag. Um, I always choose to rig these in McKenna style using a live bait hook in the rear and then typically a Siwash or VMC hook in the front. Um, other plugs I grabbed is a uh, red fin. You know, you can bag, uh, get these for like 10 bucks and you know, do everything with them. It's a great middle plug, um, slowly wakes on the surface. Um, you can choose to load them as well, which is very effective. Um, right now, as is, it's like casting a potato chip. So once you load them, you're able to cast them, you know, twice the distance typically. So you keep the same action, which is important. Yep, grab some super snacks. So these are great during the daytime. 
Um, I don't typically fish these at night, but you know, if there's a squid bite, you can typically fish these and be, you know, have an effective night. Um, some cool things you can do with these kinds of super, uh, even with the sluggo, you can split these tails and create like a tentacle as like a squid would kind of imitate. I'll fish these all season. Um, you know, this is pretty much what you'll find, you know, even these, I, I typically only fish nine inch. They have the 11 inch as well. And those are fun to fish too. And big summer nights, you know, new moons, big baits. Um, so you can kind of select or, you know, call out larger fish with larger baits typically. You know, red fins, paint one black, keep one white. You know, Blurple and Midnight Massacre are great colors for needlefish. Same thing with these, you know, keep a parrot, you know, dark nights, parrot works fine. Typically darker nights, you fish darker tones, blacks, grays, browns. Um, then brighter nights, you can paint this white or keep it yellow or parrot. Um, with these Slugos, um, Again, so much you can do with these, how you want to retrieve them. Great eel, uh, eel imitation, um, and you get 16, you know, baits. You rig them up McKenna style and, you know, improve your hookups and uh, definitely would recommend having these at least in your bag. And you don't, you won't, I don't find myself switching too many plugs throughout the night. 